All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I think this is day three of our series, and we've got some interesting things happening in our account this morning. We're obviously selling options to for income, essentially looking to earn an extra $1,000 per month with our account, uh, right now anyway. Uh, and we the, the whole idea is to be able to earn consistent income in a way that we could either reinvest it or redeploy it in some other way in crypto. Now, since yesterday, if you take a look at this account, we've got some things to look at. We've got some some work to do. Nothing to worry about, by the way, but we've got some things to look at. The Our account value has dipped. We need to look at why that has happened and what's going on. Before I get started, let me just, uh, just to tell you a little bit about what's going on with me right now. I'm traveling right now. I'm in uh, Texas. I'm having to use a VPN to be able to access this because I'm in the U.S. On, in the state of Texas. But right now I'm uh, it's, uh, sitting on a golf course. I don't even play golf, but I'm at an Airbnb round on a golf course here. I'm in uh, Texas for business. I'm going to be here for a few we a few weeks, actually. But one of the first things I do is I wake up and I check my Lira account. I'm lighting a cigar up, got a cup of coffee. Puffing on the cigar. Anybody has got any? If you're curious, by the way, I'm enjoying a Casano 18, one of my favorite Connecticut shade cigars, kind of an everyday sort of smoke. Not super easy to come by, but not an expensive smoke either. All right, that's pretty good. Got a cup of coffee, got a Diet Mountain Dew, and I got a little energy drink. Literally, all three of those sitting here in front of me. All right, so let's get started. One thing uh, I find a lot of people panic about their crypto uh, uh, trades oftentimes. You know, a lot of people get excited. They focus on the price going up. But when something goes wrong, they're quick to sell. The thing about options, I feel like options sort of safeguards against that. Because you make money going in when you're selling options. You make money going in. Your, your, our collateral is up to $20,899. And today we're gonna to make some decent moves. We're gonna redeploy, I don't know, maybe four or five thousand of this, maybe more. And the reason I say that is because the market's been moving. Ethereum, which is what I primarily sell options on. By the way, you can sell options on anything. I just focus on Ethereum. Uh, we're down 4.8%. That means I'll be selling puts. When you sell puts, ideally you're wanting you're saying the market's gonna go back up. But what I'm doing is here, I'll show you. I'm gonna be selling puts because. Let's come to options. Let this page come up. The price is going down, so I want to be selling below the market because when you sell a put, I, you're wanting the price to go back up. So I'm going to be getting way out of When the market moves a lot, essentially, it's not going to move 4% a day most likely, statistically. If we're down 4% a day, we're probably not going to be down 4% tomorrow. And we're probably not going to be down 4% the day after that. Usually, the market has a little bit more back and forth. So I like to, I always think that the market's more likely to bounce back up than it is to just to keep falling, uh, you know, into forever land, so to speak. So here's where we're at right now. Currently, these two positions or puts that we sold yesterday, they are in a little more trouble than when we sold them yesterday. But the question is, are they actually in real trouble? Let's take a look. So we're going to go check out the July 12th, 3000 and the July 12th, 3100. As long as our deltas are good, we're not worried about it. July 12th, 3000. Let's go to puts. 3000, 3100. So we're not worried. Now, if I'm going to watch this because if, if this goes another, if this gets down to say, it's at 33 now. So if this starts to get down to like 33.50, 33.70, I'll be watching it today. I'm, I'll just keep an eye. Uh, I have an app on my phone. I think it's CoinStats, which, by the way, I would like a better app. If you track prices on your phone with something, I'd love to find something a little bit better than, than CoinStats. What's the best I've found so far? Uh, so July 12th, 3100, this one is okay. But if it was at 32 Delta, then I would want to do something. Uh, but for now, it's okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to worry about anything right now. I mean, we're, we're, we're fine. I'm going to go sell some options, and I'm going to sell puts. So we'll come back to options. We'll go to puts. And 
I'm going to, now here's what I don't like. I would like to sell on the 12th. That's going to be coming up next week. I don't like my options right here because I don't want to sell something at a 12 delta. It's fine if I'm in there and it's at a 12 delta. I don't want to sell something at a 12 delta at all, um, personally. So I prefer not. It doesn't mean I won't. Let me look at the fifth. I don't want to go all the way out to 19th yet if I don't need to. Where are we at here? That's not going to get us nowhere. I'm definitely not going to do a 20 delta for the fifth. I would rather do the the 12 on the 13th if I was going to do that. Let's see where are we at. So July 19th will be essentially two weeks and two days away. If I was going to go that far out, I'm owning about 3%. Let's see what we can get there. See, I don't love that the 0.7 delta only gets me barely 3%, which is good enough, by the way. I mean, that's not awful. That's not an awful number. All right. I'm just looking at my options. All right. Here's what I think I'm going to do. I am going to sell this one 3,000 at 12 because I don't have a lot of options. Pun intended. The 19. Let me see. That's going to tie up 430. I need to make roughly 3%. Okay. Let's come here. All right, here's what we'll do. We're going to sell two of these. The good news about this one is it's going to expire a lot quicker than the 19th. So if the market bounces back like I suspect that it will, like it's starting to do right now, if it keeps bouncing back, this ends up being a really good trade. So we'll, we'll lock this one in. I really, that's really a uh, much higher delta than I prefer. Okay, now we'll come over here. And we'll, we'll do this one. One of the things that's hurt me a little bit, that's going to margin required. Let's see. We need we need to get some of this to work. Let's do six twenty five hundred seventy dollars. Well, let's let's do seven. I'm just Look at my options here. The, what what I don't what I'm not loving right now is it's a, it's a good long ways out. I'm trying to see if I can get to a thousand dollars a month, and the problem with this is starting at twenty thousand, and I didn't have that twenty thousand going to work. I'm having to redeploy it to new positions. I'm sort of disadvantaged from getting to my thousand a month without taking on certain risk. That and the question is is it's not worth the risk really. Um, all right, so we'll review this order. Let's go to 28. Go back. I just feel like we're probably not going to hit. I'm going to do this. I just feel like we're not likely to go to 2,800. We could. I just don't feel like we're going to go that far back. Um, so I just log that in. Let's go take a look at where we're at now with our portfolio. It's 3100 on the 12th. I need to keep an eye on that. What's interesting is there's four puts there. I actually improved this position. If I was just, if I sold another put here, then that's what that has to do with this thing here. Um, let me go check my puts again. See if I want to. Where's that at? Yeah, I can't do that. I almost want to sell a put there because I may have to roll this, but at least I'm making, I'm, I'm not, oh, I'm going to leave it alone, I think. 
on one hand, I could make a lot more money if the if the market moves my direction, but it's at a 20 delta, and that's just not where I want it to be. So I think I'm going to hold right here. I didn't want to go out to the 19s. I was trying to stack everything I could on the 12s, uh, July 12th, because I like I like when things can expire cleanly. Um, but that's just not what we got going on right now. By the way, our, our collateral is up to 21,900. Let me go back and look. Margin received. So I'm just trying to, I'm thinking out loud to you, seeing me kind of free flow through this a little bit. Um, so if we go to the puts, where are we at? 12. Mm. I might do another, another two right here. Again, what I'm banking on is the market's going to move back. That's not as much higher delta than I want, but I can't do anything with a four, a four delta. So technically, I could actually. I could. I'm going to lock that in. I'm actually going to do this. Is here's the thing about this. This is a the twelfth. Oh, that's not even one percent. Never mind. It's a 0 0.04 delta, which is nice. I, I was for some reason I was thinking this was going to expire on the fifth, but we're not on the fifth, so I'm not going to mess with that. Let's take a look here. 18. I don't mind that for the fifth. That's higher than I want it to be, but we've only got two days. This is one of those right here that could get you in trouble, but I could easily roll this out. Let's do a, one there. This is going to expire in two days. Didn't type too much capital. Now, the problem with when you see me have to manage positions, what you're going to realize is, you know, I just used pr roughly 400 something dollars to make seven bucks. Oh, that's just moved a lot. Um, when you get this close to an expiration, the price can move on you a lot like it just did. Um, however, it, it, throughout you know, the next day or so, as long as the price doesn't keep getting closer to 3,200, the price of the option, as long as the strike doesn't get closer to 3,200, the price of the option is going to drop very, very fast because we've got a lot of theta decay because we're only, you know, two days out basically. Um, so if, however, if we start going to 3,200 pretty quickly, if, so, if in the next hour or two, this price dives for some reason, and we drop down to five, six percent down, which could happen. Most likely won't, but it could happen. If that happens, and all of a sudden you're going to see this thing is going to be worth twenty dollars, or it's going to be worth thirty-six dollars. So I'll be losing a significant percentage on a percentage basis. And so I'll need what I'll do is I'll have to close out that option. I'll take a loss of say thirty dollars or something like that on on each option, and I'll try to make that back by selling options further in the future, whether it's the 12th, the 19th, even the 26th, if I need to, and maybe sell more of them. That's why it's nice that I have some buying power available. And it's also why I like to see always have options expiring every week is because I like the idea of that buying power staying available. I'm going to sell one more here only because it looks like a better price. And it's, we're still at a 18 Delta. So even notices I'm processing through this. I'm like, I don't want to do this, but I prefer to do this because it, it, you're always having to weigh what's available to you. Um, and again, it's two days out, hoping the price doesn't move significantly. And if it doesn't, uh, we'll do good because we'll, we'll, we'll make some good money on those options. So here we are. We still have $10,000 available, but we're up to 21852 Now, Keep in mind, we started at 20,822. This is where we started the month at. So let's come over here. Let's go to calendar. Let's look at 21,052 minus 20,822. So we've, uh, oh, I did that wrong. Wow. Um, oh, 21,000. 052 minus 20,822. Okay, so we've made $230 so far, and we're going to need to make 
um, what is it? We're going to need to end up making a thousand dollars. So we still have. $770 to go. Um, I will tell you, may, it may be challenging uh, without taking on a little bit of unnecessary risk. And if it is challenging, the reason it's going to be challenging, because I think we're going to make for sure another two to $300. So, but I really want to get to that. We'll make two or $300 for sure, but I want to get as close to a thousand as we can. We have a lot of buying power left, but I don't want to deploy it all at one time because if the market just keeps moving down, 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 I don't need all these positions to be in trouble. Um, and I'm pretty skewed right now. I've got a lot of puts sold. I have no idea what that noise is. It's like a horn on a vehicle or something. Anyway, um, yeah, so I like to let the market move a little bit and I like to constantly be able to sell positions in the changing market conditions personally, as opposed to on Monday, you know, put all your eggs in one basket. Now, what you'll find is when these options start to expire. So right now I'm going to, I'll, I'll get this margin back when the option expires. What you'll find is I'll typically deploy half of it right away. And usually it's for the following week. Uh, and then I'll wait because it's going to expire on, on Friday. So by Friday or Saturday, I normally sell more options for the next week. And then what I'll do is I'll wait till Monday and maybe even Tuesday, and I'll try to keep selling options for that Friday. Typically, the market can you'll notice that it will sometimes have a sudden move on Monday or, or um, when for whatever reason. It seems that on Mondays it tends to have a little bit of a move. It, it responds differently when new volatility is coming back in from the weekend being relatively quiet. So I don't want to always sell options. I don't want to sell everything on Friday. I want to give the market a chance to move on Monday and be able to sell further options. And sometimes there's nothing available for me. Like I'll show you like Friday, I'm going to have some more capital available. So I'm probably going to sell at least one option or so, two options or whatever for the 12th to expire on the 12th. Then what will happen is um, I'll wait until Monday, usually sometimes Sunday, depending on if the market moves much over the weekend. I like to sell on days when the market has been moving. So then on Monday, I may try to make some uh, sales for the 12th. And if I can't, because I don't have good strike prices, then I'll start considering selling for the 19th. And sometimes I can get some really good premium because you, you're, you're at a little under two weeks. Sometimes you can sell on the 19th for 3%. That, that's, that's good premium. I mean, that's, that, that you're running at about 6% a month if you could sell 3% every two weeks, so to speak. Um, so, all right, now we'll just continue to watch the market. I'll be watching this 3,100 pretty well to see how it goes. I'll be keeping an eye on the, the price today. So if we get down to, say, 3,270, 3,250, I'll open up my Lira account and just keep an eye on it um, just to make sure. The thing about options, it's not usually something you have to babysit a ton, um, but when you've, get, when you've got some deltas that are kind of close, you need to pay attention. So since I've got these deltas here, I'm going to be paying attention. I want to see this keep dropping. Now keep in mind, I still have a uh, basically a 80% chance that this is going to work out just fine. But it doesn't take much for that 80. But I start adjusting when we're at a 30 delta. So keep that in mind. So I, I adjust in plenty of time. It's not like I'm going to get wiped out or nothing. So that that's just a, a margin of safety, if you will. And the price is currently going back up, so we're going in the right direction. All right, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to continue this series. It's real. It's raw. It's transparent. You're hearing me verbally process things. And this isn't meant to be any sort of tutorial. If you have a question of any kind, let me know down in the comments. Um, and I'll do my best to answer any questions that you have. I'm not an options expert. I'm not a crypto expert. I'm a crypto enthusiast. I love passive income. I love cryptocurrency. And I really enjoy what Lyra is doing, although this is not sponsored content. I will always let you know if the content is sponsored. But if you want to support the channel, there is a link to the Lyra protocol down in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Crypto Wealth. I'm out.